this episode, we're going to be building <coughs> one more feature of our little CRM application that we have going on. This one right here. Uh, currently, we can load employers from the database that will display here on the left. We can delete them. We can save the current state of one and click it here. And if we, uh, this was picked up, so if we switch back and come back here, it, um, it retains that state as we reload the server and click one. It retains that state as well. Um, implement the create real time the, the feature to create a new employer. So I'm going to go through the life cycle of the feature as the user would see it. First, I'm going to create an icon for it. And that's right here. I'm going to put it first, actually. Thinking of what I want this function to do, basically, I want it to set up the scope current employer object so that it, it doesn't have an ID property. It has all the pieces of the model that it needs to have, um, but uh, it doesn't have an ID property. And that way, um, or maybe the ID property could be just a string new. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm going to do. The ID property could be just a string new, and that way I differentiate whether um, I'm saving uh, an employer, deleting one, or actually I'm just going to add a, a, a new property because by changing this I'm going to have to go back and change some of my other code. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take the scope as a parameter right here. So now when I now when I go here to my page, right, I should have a little plus on top of there now, right? And I have some kind of error because it didn't not loading on the left. Um, can I see the fucking current employer? I want the fucking current employer. Hmm. 
this parameter new right then um, when I click on the save button if it has this parameter new I want to send a request not through save employer because that's a put method but through save new employer the data that they take is essentially the set up already to create an employer so I'm gonna try to go ahead and alright so I'm gonna hit save right it's gonna get the response the data is the ID Friend. 
just rob me a thing, but I need to also push it to my model so that my list of employers right here contains it as well. This is probably my great design. Having my, my data, my array of employers in my controller in this code is probably my great design. It should live inside the factory as a variable. Um, like bot employers equal this, and I should make a getter for it. Like function employers name. So something like this. Then when I load my controller, instead of just setting it to a blank array, I should set it to um, employer service dot get employers. Um, however, I think it's too late for me to do that. Nah, it's not too late. It wouldn't be that much work. I just don't want to do it. Um, I just want to get this to work and finish this video series. So now we have this. We're constantly logging it, and we're going to. Push and the response. Except the response was, let's see, let's see what that response was. Let's see right here. Okay, response by data, and it's not all of it either. It's just I just want the. to the scope and now when I save employer we will get employer and scope oh, now that I'm seeing this I'm seeing this is very redundant so I'm just going to copy the scope only so save and employer inside structure and employers too. Employer and employers. So now I have the um, wasn't it supposed to be the current Save is working under those circumstances, which is good. And let's try to save a new um, Microsoft Sunday new bill learn. Okay, and let's save it, and it pops right there, which is cool. So. That's about it for that feature, I think. And uh, right here, what we gotta make sure.
before of a rep. Maybe I could just save this. Maybe save this. There we go. Let's go there. All good. Now I want to go to my database and make sure um, that employer got saved correctly. So log on. And was it in this database? that that's it for, for this episode now we have a relatively functional um, thing now I just gotta fix this little magnify glass icon so that when I type something right here it actually filters these so I can search and that would be the last feature I think but that's it for this episode thanks for watching um, the coding teacher I'll see you guys next time